Hi, welcome to J Tech Academy. Today we want to talk about oil well completion. After drilling a reservoir and the company has determined that it will be economical to produce, the work of setting the final strings of casing, preparing the well for production and bringing in the oil or gas begins. Production casing and liners. Many oil and gas wells require four concentric strings of large pipe, each one reaching to the surface, one, conductor pipe, two, surface casing, three, intermediate casing, four, production casing. Usually, the production casing completely seals off the production formation, but in rare instances the production casing stops near the or just on top of the potential pay zone. Another type of pipe that is not uncommon in wells over 10,000 feet is called a liner. Liners are really just like casing. That is, they serve the same purpose, but they do not extend all the way to the surface, instead, a liner hangs from the end of the larger casing above it by means of a liner hanger. A liner can function as a production casing in which case it is called a production liner. Types of completion 1. Open hole completion 2. Perforated completion 3. Wire wrapped screen completion 1. Open hole completion. If the casing stops above the production zone and leaves the hole open, it is an open hole or barefoot completion. 2. Perforated completion. Perforating is the method of piecing the casing wall and the cement behind it to provide openings through which formation fluids may enter the well bore. A perforating gun, or perforator, is the tool that makes this opening. 3. Wire-wrapped screen completion. Sand can flow into the well along with the fluids and can clog it up to reduce or stop production. In reservoirs with sand, then a completion sometimes includes a wire-wrapped screen or liner, plus a gravel pack to keep sand out. Please, like this video, share, and subscribe. Thank you.